All right, everybody. Uh, this is Jerry, and I'm coming with you, coming to you with a product review, and it's uh, basically the best six-person hot tub value for anyone on a budget. This is actually a product that I own. I have the wonderful Steps, the Easy Lift cover that you see right here. The product is actually by Buena Spa, and it's the Jersey. It's the Jersey Hot Tub by Bueno Spa. The company is a long-standing company out of the UK. They're also named, uh, known by the name of Wellis, which is what you see right here. That's why it says Wellis there and on the steps. But in the US, they have it manufactured. Uh, they have them here. They ship them out of, uh, I think it's New Jersey and the headquarters in Florida, if I remember right. And this is the jersey by Bueno Spa. What else? What it has? It's a uh, has a one uh, one reclining lounger that you see here. I love this little area. This is my favorite spot. It's a 46 jet hot tub. Okay, you got to make sure that you keep it clean. Okay, I do all the chemicals myself. At first, my son was doing it, but now I'm doing it. See, it's an easy lift cover. Okay. You can shut off the jets individually or you can shut off uh, one side or a couple of seats at one time depending on where you uh, what knobs you push all right so again it's a 46 jet hot tub and it's actually very uh, value packed because of how many jets you get for the price that it's available for a jet a uh, hot tub like this typically is going for I would think somewhere between ten thousand to fifteen thousand dollars I looked I just uh, we were going shopping in our local area and it was really uh, out of our price range so I wanted something uh, I wanted more for my money you know I wanted something that would uh, definitely hit the spots that I needed and uh, also reach the price point of my bank account so so let's see here so you got two, you have a one, uh, one, three horsepower, two speed motor in this. Okay. Here's the control panel. Okay. It's very easy function. You press it one. Once you have, uh, the first line of, uh, jets. Okay. You can turn the direction of the hot tub, uh, to what seats you want more, uh, which side is more and which side is less this is right in the middle. Okay. And then you also have. Uh, the second jet or the second motor that really kicks out the uh, the higher end so one's a low end and one's uh, the second speed is the high end okay as you can see this is a very well made or well uh, well made hot tub okay you just have to make sure you stay on top of the chemicals and uh, you know it's not that hard to learn but uh, once you got it you know you get these little strips and you can test the water for uh, whatever it needs to be uh, treated with okay so you have the uh, the bucket seat right there there's uh, five bucket seats and then the one lounger it, it's a 240 volt uh, connection so what I did is I we had a contractor electrician electrician contractor come out and uh, run the junction uh, run up line from our main box in the back all the way to this which is our um, power panel which has the circuit breaker in there and then he ran that under to here which is a uh, water um, was it water resistant or waterproof conduit for the electrical line and then basically what I did is I drilled a hole into the side of this uh, hot tub so we can uh, and I did this part myself the contractor did not do the installation of the actual he ran he ran the installation of the wire for the 240 volts but then I actually drilled the hole uh, into the uh, Bueno Spa and then ran the line into the uh, hot tub so I picked that spot and then it runs all the way into the front I will uh, pause this at some point so I can show you the connection uh, it's actually very simple to uh, connect as long as your wire should be uh, color coded the same as mine but if not uh, you can still consult um, an electrician or if you do what I did I looked up on YouTube myself and uh, we figured it out <laughs> so you also have uh, lights there's a, it's a multi-functional uh, hot tub 
So it has multicolored lights. I don't know if you can see it. I was going to do this also at night. Uh, but it actually has a really nice display of lights. Red, green, purple, blue, white, off-white. It has, it has a ton of different uh, light colors that you can choose from. Blinking, flashing, flash once, flash twice, steady. Uh, they have everything you can think of. It's uh, weatherized, so you don't have to worry about it in the summertime. Basically what it does is you put it at a certain temperature uh, that, so when it, when you pick the temperature on your control panel, uh, you just go up and down to choose the temperature. I don't know if you can see it, but right now it's at 97 degrees or 96 degrees. I'm gonna just up it to 97. But if the temperature gets uh, below a certain degree, whatever you pick, uh, it's gonna, kick on and then wrote, uh, heat the water and keep it so it's uh, not going to freeze over depending on where you're at and it has the it's uh, lined that's the filter right there it's lined uh, for uh, all year round use basically okay so as I was saying it's a one horsepower uh, or sorry one one it's one three horsepower double speed motor okay Water sanitation is ozone, it has 15 LED lights, it has two fountain jets which I, which I can turn on right now. Oh wait, wrong one. Okay, two fountain jets and they actually uh, light up as the colors when you turn the lights on. They actually turn on as well. And when you see the price for this you're, and for the how many jets you get, and the, the level of uh, quality that this jet actually provides and relaxation and comfort, uh, you're just gonna love it. You're gonna fall in love, it, love with it like me and my family have. This is a six person hot tub and there is six of us. And uh, we're all in here at one time or we're uh, sparingly uh, in here uh, as much as we want to be. But there's, you can put the fountain at many distances, okay? And if you need a lot of neck action going on, you'd be in this one right here, this uh, chair. And then the other chairs have jets as well, because it's a 46 jet hot tub. Okay, and also, let me see here. Let me see here, make sure I'm not missing anything, because there's uh, a lot to this hot tub, actually. And of course, you have to make sure that you're, uh, uh, you may have to add the steps yourself. And you may have to uh, purchase the filter and stuff, but it's definitely worth uh, worth the price. It's right now in the price uh, a price range of about almost six thousand dollars, but uh, depending on what you add, uh, what extras you add to it. But for the money, it's really a true value for the seats you get, and it's a true six seater. I've seen some that says six seats, and I'm looking. I'm like, where are you going to put the? Where's the other person sit actually? So this one actually does have five seats plus the lounger, which is right here, okay? I'm gonna pause this so I can show you guys the connection panel. All right guys, I'm back. Again, I was talking about the uh, connection that I did myself. I didn't run the uh, electrical wires myself. I had a professional electrician run the actual electrical wires from the main junction box in and make it convert it to 240. Uh, but if you're looking, if you're looking at the Bueno Spa, uh, the electrical panel on the here is right, uh, located right below the control panel. Okay. So I'm going to walk around the Bueno Spa and I'm going to show you again where I had that, uh, got a shadow going here, show you where that connection is that I drilled the hole for myself. Then I drilled a, I put a flat panel, I drilled a hole through that. Just to keep make sure the water gets in between that uh not that the conduit isn't covering it uh, but it i run it along the bottom here okay if you see where my finger is there's the line and then i have it come back up and curve into the control panel okay and i can't remember if i had to uh you're supposed to have connections to tighten it into the um to the junction panel right here, the wiring. I uh, can't exactly remember what I did to, uh, if I had the, 
what connection I had for screwing that in, but it should have been with the uh, actual conduit that you were uh, given. Okay, so right here on the actual panel, I turned off uh, just for uh, just remember to make sure you have your uh, power turned off at the junction box where your 240 is uh, running from. So it should have an individual breaker away from your house breakers that you switch into off so you can uh, mess with this electrical. Otherwise, you may get electrocuted. Okay, so we have, I'm running, I have the red on top, then I have the white, then I have the black, and then below that, there's only four of them, is the green. So below that is the green. So I have the red first, the white, the black, and it goes into the, it just, goes into the little uh, connection right here. Let me point at it right there. And then you take a flat tip screwdriver. I don't know if you can see it, but in there you just put the line in there, the bare line, and then press it up into the, um, the covering. And then, I mean, you have to obviously loosen those screws and then put it in and then use a flathead screwdriver and tighten them down and then you after you're done put the the cover back on to the uh actual uh electrical connection here okay you screw that back in make sure everything all the screws are in and then you can run over to your connection panel and uh enjoy your hot tub turn it on and run your nice bueno spa again you, everyone uh, thank you for watching this video. I'm not going to turn the spa on because I'm messing with this electrical panel. But again, it's the uh, Bueno Spa jersey. I'll have a link in the description for you to check it out. Let me know what you think. But uh, you're going to enjoy it because I personally own it. So, And I love it. And my family loves it. And it's packed with value for the for what you're getting. Anything else, you're going to be paying double uh, or you know twice the price, basically. Maybe a little higher for 46 Jets. All right, guys, this is Jerry signing off.